Good morning. You know, I was talking the other day about becoming a superhero, about the possibilities that might be available to us as we start to change ourselves, evolve, heightened awareness, psychic abilities, things like that. And I was thinking this morning that the greatest superpower of all is one that we all really possess. Usually it lies dormant, sleeps within us, or maybe uh, even discarded. Sometimes people shut it out completely. It's the ability to give love. It makes us tender. And I think that's why people shut it out sometimes, because it hurts sometimes to give love and not get it back, in the, at least in the way that we expect. But every being needs love. And we are the ones who have the cure for it in ourselves. We have the cure for the very need that we have. But we shut it out at times because, as I said, it hurts and we've been hurt by love. I guess that's what happens when you when you give love with expectation. When you give love with uh, strings attached. And I'm not saying that's bad. We all do that in a way. We all want to have our uh, needs met too. We all want to have our itches scratched, as they say. But love, unconditional love, that takes a superhero. That takes an open heart, it takes giving without expectation. It takes seeing the need for love in every being and, and meeting that need, filling those holes. Because we can walk around looking like Swiss cheese on the inside because there's holes missing from us. And the filling for those holes is love, the love we have to give. So I encourage you to work on that superpower. You've got it. It's in you. Discover it. Grow it. And then let it flow. Let it flow. It's not even your love. It's the love of spirit that comes through you. So you don't have to worry about running out of of love, of energy, <laughs> it's there, it's always there. It always has been there. Let it heal you and then heal others with it. Become a love giver. Namaste.